Hello, this is Afternoon Live. I'm Martine Croxall. In the past hour, it's been announced that the Oscar-nominated British actor Albert Finney has died after a short illness. He was 82. Finney enjoyed a long and distinguished career on stage and screen, following his early success as a Shakespearean actor in roles including Hamlet and Macbeth. His role as Tom Jones in the 1963 film made him an international star. Later, Finney played Hercule Poirot in Murder on the Orient Express, and most recently, a gamekeeper in the 2012 James Bond film Skyfall. Life and extraordinary career of Albert Finney, well, our environment and entertainment correspondent Lisa Mazimbra is here. I mean, when you think back of just how many films that you can recall him in, it's quite a body of work. Absolutely, and of course, not just the films, it was theatre as well. If you look back on the acting greats of the 20th century, people like him are what personify people's image of what in many ways they should be starting out in the theatre at the uh, Birmingham Rep coming to the Old Vic and the National that wonderful theatre training that made so many acting greats and then transferring to film becoming a film star you know he acted a opposite some of the people like Olivier, some of the few people that can still say that, but didn't forget his theatre roots, went back, even though he was a huge film star, to doing plays by Osborne, doing kind of Shakespeare, and then almost reinventing himself as he went along. He could sing as well. He appeared in uh, the musical Scrooge, the film Annie. He had such a versatility about him. He was one of those 20th century actors that really, as I say, personify what that great acting careers could be like. Yeah, and I think uh, that's sort of borne out by the, the sort of uh, comments that have been made about him over the years by his co-stars, by directors, Sam Mendes notably, when uh, with, with Skyfall. Absolutely, that was his really last cinema role, playing opposite Daniel Craig in that uh, the 50th anniversary Bond movie Skyfall. And uh, it was, you know, he was, of course, opposite uh, that in Dame Judi Dench as well. And it's remarkable, there were so few actors that could say that, you know, they played against... Daniel Craig, they've played against Judy Dench, they've played against Laurence Olivier. You know, he really was what you'd think of as an actor. Actually, he had the you know the wonderful, vibrant voice. He had the personality. He had the qualifications. He had the theatre training. He had on film the BAFTA nominations, the Oscar nominations. Famously, he said, you know, he never went to the Oscars, saying it's really a long way to go for a party, and I couldn't sit still for that long without having a cigarette or a drink. You know, so he had that slight disdain for the more flashier side of the entertainment industry. But of course, you know, his talent shone through, you know, a career that went on for decades upon decades. One of those true great acting greats of the 20th century who in a way personified the way that you see what an actor should be for so many years. No doubt the tributes will start pouring mm. in and we'll hear from you mm. again Lisa when they do but for the moment thank you very mm. much.